A Fox 2 follow-up now. 22-year-old Monty Henderson of Kirkwood is now charged with two counts of involuntary manslaughter and armed criminal action in the deaths of a mother and daughter from Chicago following this crash in downtown St. Louis. Tonight, the mayor of St. Louis says she is doing what she can to make streets safer. But the Board of Aldermen is stalling. She said that today to Fox Files investigator Mitch McCoy after a Chicago mother and her daughter were killed while crossing the street. Hello there. St. Louis police sources tell me the driver of that Jeep apparently running red lights and driving at a high rate of speed does not have a criminal record. The mayor says she's heartbroken over the incident. We want to make sure that people are safe. St. Louis Mayor Tashara Jones says it's time to act after a Chicago mother and daughter in town for the Drake concert were killed while crossing the street Tuesday morning. And we are doing uh, everything that we possibly can and humanly possible uh, to uh, make our streets safer by deploying our ARPA resources uh, to address street safety uh, in the city. 42-year-old Leticia Bracero and her daughter, 21-year-old Alyssa Cordova, were in the crosswalk at 18th and Olive when they were hit. Sources say they were skipping with joy after leaving the concert. Investigators say a speeding out of control Jeep driven by a 22 year old ran red lights moments before. The collision threw both pedestrians to the north sidewalk of Olive. Nearly a year to the day, an out of control vehicle crashed into Tennessee volleyball player Janae Edmondson. She lost both her legs. Records reveal the driver had repeatedly violated his GPS ankle monitor. What's your initial reaction to this? Because obviously this is coming very close to, to the Janae Edmondson crash. Yes, yes. My heart goes out to the family um, uh, involved in this incident. But this also renews our call uh, for more street safety initiatives that are currently being installed at the Board of Aldermen. Board Bill 105 proposed by Alderman Shane Cohn would reestablish automated camera enforcement or red light cameras, something proposed and drafted five months ago. Mayor, are you are you blaming the Board of Aldermen for not making the streets more safe? No, I'm not blaming the Board of Aldermen. I'm just saying that we introduced a bill on automated tra uh, traffic enforcement, um, and that bill has stalled since September. We need action. Board of Aldermen President Megan Green's office issued a statement writing in part, quote, committee hearings on the automated traffic enforcement and surveillance oversight bills are expected to be scheduled in the weeks ahead, and we fully expect both bills to pass by the end of the current session. Last year, the board dedicated $74 million to critical infrastructure. The measure funded traffic calming, sidewalk repair, and street paving citywide. We'll continue to track the proposed red light camera bill and the money. For the Fox Files, I'm investigator Mitch McCoy.